Hello everyone, this is another vlog from Cats vs Dogs. I just recorded about like a 5-6 minute vlog, but uh, only 31 seconds recorded. Um, I hope you don't mind that I'm showing my FPS down in the corner, and it looks like RuneScape is set to a fixed 30 FPS. That just makes it easier for me. But I'm going to straight into business. I have a Fire Giants task. Don't have my gem with me, so I can't tell you how much I have done with that. And it's the 5th of... No. It's Sunday, May 22nd, 2011. So, that being said, uh, it's Sunday. And, um, main goals for me is probably going to be my, uh, 60 Herblor, um, target. Uh, and I'm going to set one for 58 because I use a Herblor guide. That's when making my new potions seize. And I make, uh, I think, Ceridoman brews at 58. Or not, Zamorak brews at 58, I believe it is. Uh, if I'm talking a little low and this shows up on video a little low, I'll just remind myself to talk louder next time. But, um, main goals after I do this task and hopefully get my strength up a level tomorrow is definitely going to be getting 50 herblore and once I get 50 herblore I might move on to walking I just call it walking because agility is pointless all it does is help you walk and squeeze through tunnels then I might go on to fishing then fire making then I might do like a the uh, mining and uh, what you call it, I don't even know, mining and mage combined, then I might do a little ranged to 60 after that, and then I might go to like dungeoneering or something that's like fun, something I can do with my friends and get a nice little team of two with me and one of my friends on Skype, do some dungeoneering videos I guess, <laughs> even those would, those would be boring as hell, then I might go for 60 slayer, or at least get slayer like up whenever I'm just finishing a skill or taking a break from a skill, you know, just jump on a slayer task for a day, do anything like that, you know, safe spot, what I got a safe spot, get the mage range up, probably should be burying bones from slayer, even with all these big bones I've been getting, I mean, if they dropped noted like they do in, uh, when I'm getting my defenders, you know, I'm gonna start burying my bones, um, since they're not aggroed on me. But yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna pick from a hat sometimes if I if it comes to be like Thursday and I have no clue what I'm what skill I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do a little random number generator or something. Write everything down on my notes tab and do it on the video. Wow. Those are old notes. <laughs> Even though 99 strength is still a goal of mine, it's just not in my top priority slot because I know when I had 99 strength as set as a note, I know I could have gotten it before my birthday. And I still can get it before my birthday, which is August, and I have three more months, just about three more months to get it. So I could, I mean, I can go train at experiments and get 500 XP or 1k XP a uh, animal and just mow down XP all weekend, kill like 13,000 of them, kill like a thousand of them a week in just 13 weeks. That plays out perfectly out of my party, my 99 party, like after my birthday party or I don't know how that would work out, but now I think I'm just going to get 60 by sometime like two months after my birthday or something like that. Have it be my late birthday present to, to myself. You know, it'll end up being 1500 total level, plus all the extras like my 84 wood cutting, 80 fletching, 70 attack, 74 defense, or 74 strength, but it'll be higher by the time I get 60 and all. And 70 defense, 71 hit points then I might go hardcore for a 99 and then 70 in all skill but I honestly don't know because 70 in all skill would be pushing it a little bit farther 
then I'd want to push it, and I know I'd get, I'd try to go for 80 in every skill, but that's, you know, 3 mil XP, or 2 mil XP in a skill. And I'm already at 1.2 with that. I have like, uh, I get like 110 per level now, which isn't really that fun. And this is pretty much all I have to say. Have some attack potions I made like six hours ago. Um, I'm gonna get out of here. Hope I don't get like bung bung rushed by uh, which call it rock crabs on my way out. That wouldn't be fun. All right, which way is the rock crabs? Um, this way. Yeah, it's this way, and then it's this way. All right, there we go. And let's just hope I don't get PK'd on my way out. <laughs> but it looks pretty good, and I should be safe. So I just don't want to get claw rushed. Got no HP or no prayer points. I'm down to like a 200k bank. And yeah, this is uh, 5-22-2011, vlog number one for cats vs dogs. And uh, yeah, you pretty much heard my goals. Now, pretty much every two day or one day vlog is just going to be an update on what I've do been doing, slash what I'm doing, slash what I'm planning to do, if any of that sporadically changes at any moment. Because I might just be inspired in study hall to like draw up a gigantic list and like do that. But you know, if you don't watch it, you don't watch it. If you watch it, I'm glad. Eventually, once my account gets more into the PKing sort of thing. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna have to change my bank pin because that was a little obvious. I didn't really notice that until. It was like lol cat in my face. See, I don't have much of a bank. Just 220k. I spent like a mil in the past day on skills, which isn't fun at all. Got my summoning tab. Uh, where's my scimitar? Let's see. I am. I made. I got four of them as drops today, so I'm happy. That paid for like one eighth of what I've lost so far. And uh, my farming tab, which hasn't been touched in forever. My charms tab, which is looking pretty healthy. I mean, even though I blew a lot of crimson charms, I have roughly 100 gold charms, and that looks really decent. <laughs> Three wolf pouches like a pro. Um, but yeah, I'll just record this. and 24 more, which is easy, and I can get that in like 10 minutes. But... I'm um, I'm done and uh yeah this is Cats vs Dogs vlog number 1